I should wear a different humphu pajama outfit for this video. Hello guys, it is me, Miss Matcha Blossom. Today we're gonna do a video on how I made this humphu inspired jongi. Now, I know a lot of people might be like, matcha, is that really traditionally made? No, <laughs> but it is modernly made to look traditional. So let's get into it. This hanfu kind of undergarment or loungewear is something I've always wanted to make for a while and hopefully you guys can help too. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can to explain the process. I don't have anything scripted. This is all based off of memory and how I made it. And this is also a disclaimer as well because I know there's gonna always be trolls, but I always wanna just say this up front. I am not a teacher, I am not a professional, and I am not a historian. I am not a Hanfu historian or Hanfu professional. I am a Hanfu enthusiast. That is what I am. I want to say that first because there's always people that say I didn't do it this way or that way. Let's just try to be kind and know that if you didn't make this video, stop being a dick, okay? Thank you. So I tried to stay as close as I can to the traditional value of the Hanfu loungewear or the Zhang Yi as much as I could. If you're wondering what that is and you want an explanation, probably isn't the video, but I do have a video in regards to that. I'll have it on the card above or it's gonna be in the thumbnail so you have an idea where to watch it at. Go watch that video first before coming into this one. Now, if you guys remember, a lot of um, Manfu undergarments, they look a little bit different than it is traditionally as it is now. I know if you guys have seen some online or have bought some or have some yourself, you can tell that the pants are a little bit different from how they are traditionally. They might not have the ties or the crossovers like it is traditionally, blah, blah, traditionally, but they might have elastic in it. So that's what I decided to do. First things first is I decided to draw the design and try to see where to go from there. Kind of have a gist of where it's gonna go before I started doing the fittings and the measurements. Now for me, I had to think about this right side is gonna go on the inside, right in, left out. The best way to kind of remember it because it can be confusing when I say left to right, it's not this way because sometimes books are like that. You have to think about it as a seat belt. So it's like left shoulder, right hip. When you're doing the inside of the Hanfu or the Zhang Yi, you're gonna do right shoulder, left hip, and then left shoulder, right hip. That's the best way I can kind of describe it to you is the seatbelt method. If you live in a country that's like this, don't do it. This is the inside, this is the outside. That's the best way I can kind of describe it. Now once I did the design, I decided to break down the design on how I can make it easier for me. Now everyone does things differently, so this is how I can explain it to you, how there's many different ways to do the pants. I decided to do the pants um, using some just stretch pants that I had here because I didn't have all my patterns. Once again, I moved. It was a lot more different than it was for me. Other people might have it. So if you have a pattern of a straight leg pants or kind of like slacks, I would advise to use that as long as you can add an elastic band to it. I did make my waist kind of huger than normal. I did that to make it easier for myself. If I'm adding an elastic band in here instead of ties, let me see how much space I can deal with until I can alter the size down. And I would say the bottom part, I didn't make it so straight down, or at least I didn't make it at an ankle, where it's a little bit narrower, narrower, like by the ankles. And I say that because if you kind of do it straight down, kind of get this flare effect, which is kind of different. But what I did was later I decided to adjust it to be more narrower by the ankles, but I started from the inner thigh down and made it more narrow. But once again, like I said, if you have a straight leg pants that's like a little bit more easier for the pattern, or you have a pattern for like stretchy pants that's straight legged, just use that. Don't do my method. If you want to do my method, feel free, but just keep in mind that's what I had to do. So right now it is uh, 9.31 in the morning. Let's see. Um, so I'm trying not to be too loud because uh, my sister is still asleep and uh, I don't want to be loud in the morning because it's a lot of energy. So sorry if I'm speaking low. Um, I realized last night while I was sewing, I didn't have enough fabric to do the bottom part of the Zhang Yi. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I have to go back out to the store and just get like, I would say another like two yards of like each fabric that I bought that you guys have seen. I'm sure Comfort and Luxury, the blue one. 
but the other one is like for my hanfus. When I did the pants, I cut them out first on the fabric, then I cut them out for the top first. I realized I didn't have enough fabric. <laughs> I went to the store later on in the next week or so to get more fabric and continue with my process of making this. But the top was pretty easy to make, just to let you guys know. I do take a shirt that fits me. I use a, a track shirt because I don't have a mannequin right now. And I try to outline it, but I give myself at least two to three inches of space because you can always alter something that's big instead of altering something that is small. Just keep that in mind. I give myself two to three inches of space and then if, when I try it on, before I make alterations, I kind of pin here and there like what feels good to me, what's a good breathing space for my arms, my pits, my body. Putting this off centered a bit because this is the fold area, so this is going to be the center back of the Zhang Ming's backing from the top. Straight across here. Don't worry about the sleeve being so short. It will be fixed later. Do not worry about it. This way, feel free to, but I don't want to sew in more stuff. I want to make this quick and easy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way. So that way, we can just have the center back done. So that it still looks like it's still spacious as the Zhang Yi is made to be. And then I can go ahead and do it. As I mentioned again, I use a tracksuit kind of jacket to do the fitting. Come here, boo-boo. Come here. And then from there, after I do the tracksuit fitting, I decide there from that to kind of like make the pattern, which is kind of an easy, kind of like half sleeve, like angular shirt. Do show how I made it like a crossover as well in the video. <laughs> then from there, I'm sorry, my dog is in my lap. Yo, yo. It was a little bit more easier for me to make the rest of the Zhang Yi. Instead of it being the whole five inches, we're going to cut it down to three and a half. That's going to be over here. Now, this is going to vary depending on how you want it crossed over and how we do it. But I'm just letting you know because this is trial and error, so just watch this video. Before you make your outfit, don't do it during, don't be like me and mess up. So this is five inches for the seam. If I do it in the center, and then we're just gonna do three and a half here instead of the whole five. Bring it over so that it's connected. So it's not saying this is wrong, but I do wanna just have more seam allowance for the turnover. There we go. Oh, why is this, why am I so not stretched out? My boobs are be right here, and then this is where that turnover area is. As you guys can see, this is the center back, this is the center front. Because once I did the top and I tried to add on the extended sleeves later on if you can see right here. I tried to, when I add them on, before I do like my hemming on the on the seam allowance, I do press it down so it looks more clean cut. It looks like all one sleeve so it doesn't look as different. I do that definitely to make sure that it's pressed and it's not as noticeable. You can do it all one sleeve and do it your own way. I just do it my way because it's a little bit easier for me to catch along. I'm not wasting any fabric or as much fabric. Because once I've completed the top, I did the placket later. I just used leftover seam allowance that I had and then I just like pressed it and then pressed it on, sewed it, pinned it, bada bing bada boom bada boom boom boom. I would say the ties for the top, I make them differently than how other people would. They would just sew them down, turn them inside out, 
but I'm a little impatient. So just don't listen to me if you don't want to do it that way. I just started folding mine in and then just sewing all around it. Trying to sew in like the raw edges so it's not as fraying as much to the sides. You know, tomato, tomato, do it your own way. It's your outfit, I don't care. That's how I made the ties. I made around six to eight ties. I didn't realize I didn't need that many ties because Hanfu normally has. I didn't realize until later that you don't need six to eight ties. <laughs> you probably just need four and I was like, well, then, well, not four. I think you need. I said it in the video. I'll, I'll let the video speak for itself. I just realized that. Ow! As I was finishing this with the ties and everything, I just realized that people only have one tie string on their Zhang Yi for each side. So I only needed to make four. But if you wanna make eight, like how I did it, because I want it to be really fit on me when I go to sleep or when I'm wearing clothes, so it doesn't move and sway, I personally say go for it because ain't nobody gonna judge you but you wearing it. So unless you're like wearing out and about, then that's a whole different story. I'm gonna personally keep it on there for now. It's just it's not a traditional Zhang Yi. This is a modernized Zhang Yi for beginners. So I don't want to hear anybody saying, this is not the right way. I know. But for people who want to get into it or just start sewing or you just want it to be fitting you more tightly so it doesn't like fall off or you feel like you want it more snug, there you go. It's just a little bit easier. You're just existing. Yes, all, why are you all over my fabric? This is what I deal with. Jack! Will you leave me alone now? Will you leave me alone? No. <laughs> I have pins and needles, what are you- Cause I only have one tie here, that's normally how they do it. They do one tie here, one tie on the inside, so probably around four. But I did like a few more ties, and once again, if you want it more close-knit on your body, cause see how this like flaps away? So I might add another tie later. It just depends on how you feel about it. It's only you wearing it underneath this Hanfu. Or you wearing it in loungewear. Wear it outside, that's on you. This is the right, this is the right side. We're gonna turn it inside out so we can sew it. This here is the first step. And then two ties here. I did proceed to the pants. I did have to redo the pants because it was so big that it started like making me have a weird camel toe in the front. I had to like readjust, cut down, slim out the hips as well. Once again, Please get a correct pattern for the pants so you don't have to waste fabric and time and effort like I did. After I did that, I did finish the cuffing at the bottom and I finished the elastic band. Once I did that, I tried it on and see how it fit because for me, I have a different dip in my body for my back. For me, I have this weird dip so whenever I wear stuff that have pants, I have to be careful to have it fit just right like it's to be angled like this, just because my body is made a little different. Um, I got a lot more hills in the back than I do in the front, let's just say that. I got a, a bon badonk -a donk you know what I'm talking about. So you have to make the appropriate measures. And I would say I did my pants more modern-wise than I did having it being, like, more traditional-wise. If you do want to do something more traditional, I would suggest researching how they traditionally looked, like in the museums, and then from there deciding on your body type and measurements, how to make the adjustable like alignments for your alteration. I would say that for me, it was pretty easy to do this project. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be, and it was pretty simple. You wanna make more videos about making more Hanfu undergarments because it is actually pretty simple. You just have to do your own measurements. I would say if you do not have the sewing ability to know how to 
make your own measurement or know it. If you have someone that's a friend, family member, a tailor that you normally go to or a seamstress to make these measurements, you can also ask them to see if they can research to make these patterns for you. If you don't know anybody that's like that, there's always people on Etsy that are seamstress or tailors that do make patterns. You can always see if they can make custom patterns for you based off of those like designs and then you need the measurements for them. But make sure you give them a lot of resources and references because if you don't, you won't get the outcome you want. And I say that because sometimes even when I have worked with other artists for like designs on commission, like we're just with art pieces, I've had to give them numerous references and circle and highlight which areas, like whether it's physically highlight or in words, highlight how I want something done and give like examples, like similar terms. Stuff like that can help you when you go to a seamstress and a tailor. If you guys want to know how to go to someone like that, I'll make a video on that too. Please write in the comments, I need a video on how to get Hanfu patterns done by a seamstress or tailor. I actually have a video of that coming up, but if you want to see that, please write that down in the comments. It really does help me. When I finished the Hanfu undergarment, it was really pretty. I like the way I felt comfortable in it. Well, I actually do go to sleep with this Hanfu undergarment. It's inspired by Zhang Dan. I haven't made the pants for this. I bought the fabric and I came back. They ran out of the fabric. So yeah, uh, I have to make the pants for this to make complete my Zhang Dan. It was, uh, it's very comfortable as long as you get the right material. And that's what I should have said in the beginning. I would say before you start sewing, before you start doing anything, Please, for the love of God, research your fabric. I am more of a person that researches the fabrics and I also go in store to feel it, see how it feels. That's one thing people don't tell you about with researching fabric. If you know the fabric, it'd be different. But if you don't know the fabric, go into a fabric store, see how it feels, ask questions. Ask them what kind of fabric is this? How does it stretch? Is it a two-way stretch, four-way stretch? How does it breathe? How does it take things when sewing? You know, those are very important with different fabrics. I would definitely say when you make Zhang Yi Hanfu, please research your fabric. So if you want your Zhang Yi to have like really good fabric like this one, I would say if you don't have the money, save up for it so you can have an investment because this has been helping me so much. I've fallen asleep in it. I've worn around the house. It'll last a very long time as long as you also take care of it with the washing. After all, this is it. That is my Hanfu Zhang Yi tutorial. I would say that this is something I definitely would recommend people buy or either make or have somebody make for you because when you buy Hanfu, people are like, oh, this is too thin, this is just China, this is this. When you buy any kind of outfit that has the needs proper undergarments and you're not wearing it, it's gonna be a bit thin. I'm sorry, it's just something I've noticed. If you wanna see more Hanfu undergarments videos, cause I will be making more in the future, please feel free to hit that like button and comment underneath, I wanna see this type of Hanfu undergarment video. So when you like and comment, it's a free way of helping me and it also helps boost algorithms so you know when I have a new video coming out. And don't forget to hit peace, love, and happiness, and it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go eat breakfast, because I'm hungry. See you guys later. Bye! <laughs>
Garon Garon Jigga what? Why they coming in? <laughs> the man is hot. The lizard is hot. They're coming in because they're like, I can't breathe. I'm scaling out there. Hey, look, hust hustling ain't for the weak, all right? <laughs> Get out of here. Ain't for the weak of heart. <laughs> nah, I ain't weak. I'm built. This is about to hit me tomorrow. <laughs> you know what? Hit me. <laughs> Can you keep up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's so hot. I'm gonna fill this outro real quick. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I need to stop doing winter projects in the summer. <laughs> Ooh.